All right. Uh, so we, I, I sent you questions on uh, vectors. Okay. So those were past papers. That that was uh, twenty. That was twenty twenty, twenty nineteen, twenty eighteen. And uh, was it 2017? Something like that. I think uh, these were the first papers from where I got uh, uh, those questions. Okay. So uh, I'm going to go through maybe two or three together, so that uh, because I, uh, you, you you mentioned that there were some questions that you are not able to answer. Uh, so I'm sure when we go through uh, two or three questions. I'm sure you'll be uh, a bit familiar now on how to go about some of those questions. Okay, so let's start with uh, 2020. This one should be 2020, yeah? So it says, in the diagram below, okay, in the diagram below, uh, AVC is a straight line. So we have something like this. We have a straight line, which is AVC. I mean, uh, going like that. And then there's also another line like this. Okay. And then, um, okay. then there is V here, this is V, this is A, then this is C, uh, this is B, okay? Then uh, we have M here, and we're here, and then, yeah. And then it says uh, AB, AB is equal to 8P. So from here to there, okay, it's going in that direction, this is 8P. Okay, and then uh, we have um, uh, SC is equal to, uh, which one is SC? So SC is equal to what? It's equal to uh, 4P plus 9Q. 4P plus 9Q. Uh, okay, then um, uh, BV, what is B? BV, this line here. Okay, BV is what? Uh, BV is negative 6P plus uh, KQ. Okay, so BV is equal to negative 6P plus KQ. Okay. Then, uh, what else? And uh, AM is equal to MB. AM, so M is here. Okay, this is where M is. AM is equal to MB. So in other words, uh, these two are equal, meaning that M is the midpoint between A and uh, B. Okay. Um, so you can join this one here. Uh, let me just try it a bit more straight. Um, right, something like that. Okay. Okay. So now we can start uh, solving the questions that we have, right? We have drawn the diagram, and now we need to look at the questions, okay? So vectors is really uh, one of those uh, very simple topics. One of the things that are very important is for you to understand the, 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 the main concepts, okay? The little concepts of how to solve uh, these questions, okay? So we're trying to use uh, past papers for us to understand how you can answer questions in an examination, okay? So now, you need to understand the, 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 the directions, for example. So like when we say A, B is equal to uh, H, P, it means that if we do the reverse, such that we say B, A, then it's going to be negative P, and negative H, P, okay? So if you're going in the direction A to B, it's positive. If you go in the opposite direction, it's going to be negative. That's why we say that these are vectors, meaning that we're going to have the same magnitude, but opposite different, what? Direction. Okay. Uh, similarly, this is uh, uh, AC, which is equal to what? Which is equal to uh, 4P plus 9Q. So, if we go in the opposite direction, then it's going to be negative 4P minus 9Q. So, those are some of the things that are very important for you to uh, remember. So the question says, uh, but part one, it says uh, express uh, uh, express in terms of uh, P, Q, and K. Uh, we start with A, M. Okay? A, M. Now, here, really what, like I have mentioned, you really have to take note of direction. So it's like you want to move from A, 
Okay, you are trying to move from A to M. Now we've already been given uh, an equation. Okay, we've already been given this equation. We're saying that AM AM is equal to what? Is equal to MB. Okay, is equal to MB. So this simply means that AM, the ratio of AM to MB is simply equal to what? One to one. That's what it means. Also, that's what it means. Okay. So this therefore means that AM, okay, is going to be equal to what is the ratio for, or rather, what is the proportion for AM? The proportion for AM is simply what one, okay, one all over the total proportion is say, two. But then, what's the total distance? We're talking about AB. So in other words, we're saying that AM, sorry, this is AM. AM is equal to half of the total, which is what? AB. Okay? So it's going to be half of uh, AB. Okay? Which is going to be equal to half multiplied by AP. Which is then going to be equal to what? Uh, 4 uh, P. So this is uh, the answer here. Okay? So this is how you go about it. So now, there are different ways in which uh, this can be given. Okay? This can be given, remember in our question it's been given that AM is equal to what? It's equal to MD. Okay? Now, the other way they can put it is the way I put it here now. Okay, we're saying that where would they use a ratio? Say that the ratio of AM to MD is equal to uh, 1 to 1. That is another way it can be. Uh, it can be phrased. Okay? The other way it can be phrased also is that we can also uh, use uh, this one here. Okay, where they tell you after the O, they can do this. Remember, here we are saying that AM, AM is equal to uh, 1 over 2 uh, AB. So the other way it can be phrased also is that you can say that uh, 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 2 AM, okay, is equal to AB, okay, is equal to AB. So that is another way they can actually uh, phrase it. Okay, that is one way they can phrase it. The other way they can also say the ratio AM to uh, AB is equal to 1 to 2. That is another way. So all these that I've expressed, uh, this one which was originally in the question, and then followed by this one, followed by this one, and this one here, okay, and then lastly this. If you find any such, they are basically talking about one and the same. In other words, these are the different ways in which this can be expressed. So you are going to find in other questions, instead of them giving you such uh, a scenario where they tell you that uh, uh, AM is equal to MD, you can find a scenario where they give you a ratio, like this one, they can give you a fraction like that, they can also give you uh, an equation like this one, or a ratio also like this one, where instead of using MB, they use the total distance from A uh, to B. So basically, it's still meaning uh, the same thing, okay? So now, let's go to the next one, which is uh, AV, okay? AV. So let's, uh, uh, let's have that one. Let's look at how we can go about it. Okay? So AV... Oh, we have not yet completed that one, right? Uh, so I've just written the... the, what, the the equation. So then this is going to be equal to half, or oh, I finished this one. We found that eh? AM, AM was equal to what? It's equal to uh, 4P. Okay. Alright. So then we look, we are, we are trying to find AV. So what is AV? AV here. Okay. AV. Now what equations have we been given? We've been given, um, we've been given what? Uh, let's see what we have. So we have uh, this one, so we want to move, uh, we, it's like we want to move from A, okay, from A to V, right? We want to move from A to V. Now, for us to move from A to V, we need to, we, we, we assume as if there is no root here, okay? As if there is no root there, not so. So we are at point A here, okay? So the only way we can move from point A to point V is by first going to point B, and then we go to point what? V there. Okay. So, we're saying that AV is going to be equal to AB 
then plus what? Uh, B, V. Okay? So now, uh, that's what we have. So now, what is A, B? A, B we already given is what? H, B. Plus B, V. I think we are given that one in the question, right? Uh, B, V is given as, it's what? Negative 6, B. Plus, uh, plus what? Plus uh, K, Q. Okay? Plus K, Q. Okay, like that. Then, so meaning that this is going to be equal to HP minus 6P, right? Then plus KQ, okay? So this is then going to be equal to what? It's going to be equal to HP minus 6P is what? Uh, 2P minus, I mean plus KQ, okay? So this is going to be uh, the vector a v okay that is the vector a v is that what, is that okay any problem no okay right then now uh, we can we can uh, uh, also look at the next one okay so the next one says uh, that is part two it says given that a v is equal to h uh, a c okay given that what, what am I going to erase? Let me erase on top here. Given that A B is equal to uh, H H S C. Okay? H S C um by forming an equation involving P, Q, and H, I mean H and K, or otherwise, find the numeric values of H and K. Now, this is going to be very simple, okay? So, I've given these, uh, these uh, 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 equations. Now, one thing about, uh, about vectors is that, uh, if let's say, if let's say, for example, Okay, let me, before I, I, I get back to this, I want to show you something about equality of vectors, okay? There's what is called equality of vectors, right? So, what we say is that if we have, let's say, vector A, B, okay, which is equal to, let's say, um, let's say, uh, let's say, uh, uh, maybe, uh, um, uh, let's say, X, a, okay, let's say maybe x a plus, uh, let's say plus eh, y a, okay, I mean y b, okay, and let's say vector b, I mean vector c, c g is equal to, let's say h a plus, let's say k uh, b, okay, so let's say we have these two vectors, then we say that for c g. Okay. Then we say that vector A, B is equal to vector C, D if and if, only if, okay? All if, and if and only if these are equal, okay? If these two, if the coefficients of, uh, of, uh, of A here are equal and the coefficients of B are also equal, right? Then we are going to say that okay, these two vectors are what? Are equal. If x is equal to h and y is equal to k. That is the only way we can say that those two vectors are, what? are equal. Otherwise, they are not going to be equal. Okay. So now, let's get back to uh, our question. We'll get back to our question and see what we're going to uh, end up with. Okay. So we're saying that uh, we have a, v. What, what do we have as a, v? A, v we have already found, isn't it? We know that A, V is equal to this, which is uh, 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 2, P plus uh, K, Q, right? Equal to H, okay? Now, what is S, C? S, C we are given here. S, C is what? S, C, uh, uh, S is 4, P plus 9, Q. 4, P plus 9, Q, okay? So we just expand here, so we're going to have uh, 2p is, uh, plus kq is equal to, this is going to be 
uh, 4HP plus 9HQ. Uh, okay. So again, we get back now uh, to what I'm just from uh, illustrating. So what it means is that uh, for these two uh, equations, uh, for these two to be equal, it means that the ones with P, the coefficients of P on this side and on this side, they should be equal, meaning that this and that should be equal, right? And then it also means that uh, this and that should also be what? Should also be equal, isn't it? Is that okay? So what are we going to have? We're saying that uh, 4 HP is equal to 2 P. Okay? So obviously we can cancel out the, uh, the P. So we're going to have 4 H is equal to 2, then divide by 4, divide by 4, so H is equal to what? Half. Okay? H is equal to uh, half. Okay? Then we can also equate uh, this one and that one, right? So we have a 9HQ, uh, uh, okay, equal to a K, a Q, okay? So again, the, the Q and the Q can cancel. So I send that uh, K is equal to 9H, isn't it? But we have already found that H is what? H is half. So I'm going to bring this value here. We bring it there, okay? So this is then going to be equal to 9 multiplied by half, which is going to be equal to what? Um, it's going to be 9 over 2, which is the same as 4 and half, right? Okay. So this is how you answer uh, uh, such a question. Okay. Is that okay? Is there any problem with this uh, question? No. Okay. So let's solve a uh, uh, second question. Okay, let's solve the second question. Uh, let me see. I need to choose one which has um, uh, a question like the one that you said you are not familiar with, isn't it? Okay. So I think I'm going to solve this one. This is the 20, 2018. Is it? Should be 2018. Now let me see this other one. Let's, let's check out 2018. 2018, 2018. Can I erase? Yes. Okay. Are you getting ready for your exams? Exams are coming soon, isn't it?
is equal to CB. So that is also another way of expressing the same information. So if you find any of those, you shouldn't get confused. Is that okay? Okay. So now, uh, let's get to the question. So it says express in terms of A and uh, stroke or B, okay, that is AB, okay. So AB, A, B, okay. So again, we assume as if there's no root here, so I want to move from point A to point B, but the only routes that are available is this one and that one, okay? So, we're going to go back to point O, the origin, and then from point O we go to what? To point B, okay? So this is going to be uh, AO plus what? Plus OB, okay? Plus OB. Now, remember what I just uh, explained when we started? Uh, the, the direction has changed, isn't it? But the magnitude has remained the same. So this is going to now become, this is going to be negative OA plus OB. Okay? Like that. So, what is OA? OA, we've been told that it's A, but there's a negative noun, so this is going to be negative A plus, uh, plus what? Plus B. Okay? Now, usually we don't want to leave a negative Okay, so there are two rules when you want, uh, when, when writing the final answer. Number one, you follow alphabetical order, but then if one of them is uh, negative, you start with the one that is uh, positive, even if it doesn't come first in the alphabetical order. Okay, so in this case, since B is positive, we're going to start with B. It's just, it's just better not that there's anything going to be wrong with your answer, but it's better to simplify it like that. So this is going to be. Uh, B minus A. Okay, so that is uh, 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 part, uh, part uh, 1A. Then part 1B, we want to find uh, AC. Okay, AC. Now, uh, here we have, uh, we already have this uh, ratio here, isn't it? We already have that ratio. Okay, so I think that uh, 2 AC, remember I've already uh, cross multiplied there, so 2 AC is equal to what? is equal to uh, CB, okay? Uh, let's, let's do this before I, I use this one. So we are looking for what? We're looking for AC, okay, AC. So meaning that AC, okay, AC is going to be equal to 1 over the total, what is the total uh, uh, ratio here, the total proportion? We have 1 here and 2 there. So what is going to be total? It's going to be 3 of whom? The total, which is what? Uh, AB. Not so. Is that okay? Is it fine? Okay. So, we have added the proportions here. We have 1 and 2. So, we have 3, which is the total. Then, the numerator there is going to be uh, 1, which is 4. The one that we are looking for, which is what? AC. So, this is then going to be equal to 1 over 3 multiplied by B minus A. Then this will be, uh, if you want, you can leave it right here, but again, you can also simplify if you want. This is going to be uh, 1 over 3B minus 1 over 3A. Uh, Either way, the answer is still going to be uh, correct. Okay. Can we go to the next one? Okay. So, we now want to find, uh, this is uh, OC, okay? O, O, C, okay? So O C O uh, O C is going to be equal to. Remember again, it's like we don't have this root O C. We want to move from O to C. So we're first going to go from O to A, and then from A to what? To C. So this is going to be uh, O A plus what? A C. Okay. So O A we already have. What is O A? It's A plus OC, what is O, I mean, what is AC, we have already found what we found just here. This is what? Uh, one third of B minus one third of A. Okay? So then, we connect the like terms, we're going to have what? A minus one third of A plus one third of B, which is going to be equal to two thirds of A plus one third of B. So that is going to be the answer. Okay, any problem there? No. Okay, 
So now, let's get uh, to, is, it, is that the one that you said you're not familiar with, the last part? Uh, no, it was the question. Okay, okay. No, no problem. We will still go through uh, all of them probably in the, in the next one. Okay, so let's let's uh, do that one. Okay, I'll, I'll write it from from top here. So this one says, given that uh, given that M is the midpoint of O C. Okay, show that A M is equal to. Uh, so we're saying that M is the midpoint here. And then we want to show that AM a -M is equal to what? Uh, is equal to half half of uh, uh, B minus 4A. I mean, uh, this is 1 over 6, right? 1 over 6, okay, 1, 6, B minus 4A, like that, right? Okay, so now, uh, since we're saying that, uh, we're saying that uh, O, M, okay, I mean we're saying that, uh, we're saying that uh, M is the midpoint, right? So it means that this is equal to that, isn't it? And it also means that, so here, look at this, we're looking for what? We're looking for AM, okay? AM, so that AM is equal to that. So now, we want to move from A to M, okay? We want to move from A to M, how do we move? We can either, there are, two, there are two options that we have, okay? There are two options. The first option, let me uh, use red. The first option is in, to move from A to O and then from O to M, right? The other option, let me use green, is to move from A to C and then from C to M. Those are the two options that we have. And both of them, I'm sure if you try both of them, they're going to give you uh, the same answer, okay? Now, here I would rather choose the root in uh, in what in uh, in, uh, in 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 red. I would rather choose that one. The reason is simple. The reason is that here, O, I mean A O is going to be negative A. It's just A negative A. That's O, right? And then I, this one is going to be positive. I just get half of what we found for OC, isn't it? Just half of what we found for OC. But then, if I get this root here, AC and then plus CM, okay? It means I will have to get negative half of OC. Why are we putting negative? It's because it's going in the opposite direction. Now, uh, remember, when you involve a lot of things, you are bound to make a mistake, okay? You can make a mistake, because here, if you introduce a negative there, for example, you can forget uh, that that negative is belonging to both this and that, maybe just put that negative to this one, or maybe put this ne the negative only to that one, okay? So, you can make such a mistake, isn't it? Not that, not that uh, any of the roots is going to be uh, wrong, but you're just trying to avoid unnecessary uh, mistakes, okay? So let's uh, uh, deal with that uh, and see what we're going to have. We can possibly uh, use both methods and see if we're going to get uh, the same answer. So we want to move from A to M. So let's use the first root. We're saying that AM is equal to, what is AM? AM is going to be equal to AO plus OM. Okay? Then this is going to be equal to negative OA plus OM, okay, which is then equal to, what is OA is negative A, plus OM, okay, OM is half of OC, right, is half of OC, which is uh, half of this, which is two-thirds, okay, of A, right, and then plus one-third of, uh, one-third of uh, B. So this is then going to be equal to negative A, right, uh, plus 2 there, 1, 2 there, it's 1, so this is going to be 1 third of A, right, and then uh, plus, uh, this is going to be this, and that is going to be 1 sixth, 
Okay, one fifth of uh, of what? Of B. Okay. So this is then going to be equal to what? Uh, let's simplify this. We're going to get this is going to be uh, this is uh, <coughs> remember this is uh, one third of A minus A. Okay. Then plus uh, one sixth of B. Now here we have like we have one over three minus one. Okay. So this is going to be uh, negative what? Negative two thirds, isn't it? So this is three. Um, we have uh, one minus uh, three. That is going to be negative uh, negative what? Uh, one. I uh, mean two thirds. Okay. Yeah. Negative two thirds. So this is going to be equal to here. We're going to have negative two thirds of a. Okay. Then plus uh, uh, plus what? Plus one six of b okay then here what we do what we can do is that we want to factorize okay we want to factorize why are we doing that it's because we have seen what they have told us they are saying that in the question they are saying that the, the one six should be outside at the bracket by the way before we even do that we can arrange remember i told you that the negative needs to come uh second so we're going to have one six of b minus two thirds of a okay so here if we factorize there okay if we factorize we're going to get what one six okay here if we factor out the one six they are going to remain with b minus minus what so if we multiply uh if we factor out one six from here what are we going to get uh it's like here we are trying to multiply it's like we're multiplying uh two thirds by six okay Remember, it's like if we divide, if we divide one six into that, so that is, it's like we're saying uh, two fifths divide uh, one six. Okay, but because there's division, this is going to be two over three multiplied by six over one, isn't it? So then this is going to be three there one, three there two, which is going to give you what? A four. So this is going to be a four a. Okay, so it has given us. What we have been taught, they told us to show that AM is equal to what? Is equal to uh, 1 over 6 multiplied by B minus 4A. Okay? So this is if we use the root A O M. Okay? Let's try it uh, the other way around. Have you copied? Have you written? Sorry? Okay, you can copy that and then. Uh, we can use the other route. Okay. So I will read here again. So let's use the other root and see if we're going to get uh, the same answer. So if we say AC, I mean we are saying that AM is equal to uh, AC plus CM. Okay. So this is going to be equal to AC. We already have so this is SC plus uh, plus what plus um, CM. I think that CM is simply uh, this is negative what it's going to be negative half okay half of OC right it's negative half of OC this CM is negative half of 
The reason why we are putting a negative is because we are going in this direction CM, meaning that it's opposite to the original uh, direction. Okay? Now this is going to be equal to what? What did we find? What was AC? What was AC again? Okay, like that, right? Yes. That was AC. Then minus half. Okay. Now this half, like this minus half, is for this. This is then going to be by uh, two thirds of A plus one third of B, like that. Okay. So. You see why I said that I would rather use this root because this one is going to involve a lot of things, right? So we're going to write a lot of things, and in the process, you may be bound to making a mistake, especially in an exam. So in an exam, you have to be strategic, okay? Because you're racing uh, one against time, number two, you need to be accurate. You don't need to make uh, mistakes, okay? So you need to be strategic. You need to see uh, which, if there are two methods that you can use, okay, and both of them are acceptable, then you uh, would rather use the one that is going to make you finish faster and one that is going to make you not to make any mistakes. Okay? So those are the two principles when you are uh, 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 writing an exam. So let's proceed. So this is going to be 1 over 3b minus 1 over 3a. Then this is going to be uh, the 2 there and the 2 there will cancel, so you remain with minus, minus what? minus uh, 1 over 3a, uh, okay, then, uh, then uh, uh, minus, uh, minus what, this by that, minus what, it will be minus um, 1 over 6b, uh, okay, like that. Then, what are we going to have, uh, this, is, this one here, okay, let me raise this side. So let's collect the like terms. So here we have uh, we have one over three b minus one over six uh, one over six what uh, b okay then minus one over three a minus one over three a. So this one is going to be to be equal to what? It's going to be equal to one over three b right? Then minus uh, 1 over 6 um, uh, A. Okay. Then we want to factorize. Okay. We want to factorize. Right. Um, are we headed in the right direction? Let's see. Um, we have this. Sorry. The, yeah. We have this and that. So 1 over 3b minus 1 over 3, 1 over 3 minus 1 over 6, um, that is uh, 2, uh, 2 minus, this is, okay, so it will be 1 over 6 actually, here, so it will be 1 over 6, right, and then here, 1 over 3, plus 1 over 3, that is uh, 1 plus 1, that is uh, 2 over, so it will be 1 over 3. Okay, so this one will be 1 over 3a, uh, okay? Like that, right? I think we have there now, okay. Then we can factorize here, okay? To factorize, we're going to have 1 over 6. Here we have b minus, so remember here we're dividing 1 over 3, divide 1 over 6, which is the same as 1 over 3 times 6 over 1, okay? Um, there should be something that, that we are missing. There should be something that we are missing. There should be a 2 somewhere here. We should be missing uh, a value somewhere. Where is that? Uh, 1 over 3 minus 1 over 3. Sorry? 
that where you have what? So the one in the bracket is 2 over 3a yes. 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 plus, you didn't simplify. Okay, so what was, what was, uh, what was uh, OC? OC was what? You didn't make you didn't make it what? I just make O C a negative. Oh you didn't make O C the a negative. Yes, I made it positive. So for me my formula was half oh one over three uh in bracket two minus a then plus one over two two over three. That's in black in bracket two over three a plus one over three b. Okay. So, um, so where, where we are having a mistake is uh, here at this point because we are, we are trying to use both methods from here to there and the one from here to there, right? So there should be somewhere where we are missing a number such that here we are supposed to, to come up with eh? 2 over 3 a. Eh? That's what we are supposed to have there, isn't it? Yeah. So that's what I'm trying to, to see where uh, that mistake is. Okay. Uh, what was uh, what was SC again? What was SC? SC was one over three. Then in bracket. So one over three in bracket what? Yes. B minus A. B minus A. Okay. So meaning that uh, it's still one over three B minus. 1 over 3a, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, okay, let's, let's, let's see. Where, where have we made a mistake? So, there is 1 over 3b, okay, 1 over 3b minus 1 over uh, 6b, which is here, okay? Let's, let's, let's do that. So, we have we have uh, 1 over 3 uh, b, okay, minus 1 over 6 b. So common denominator is 6. This is going to be, uh, it's going to be what? 2 minus 1, isn't it? Which is going to be 1 over 6 b. So this one we are okay. Then here we have 1 over 3 a, okay. Uh, 1 over 3a. Now, because of because of the negative, it's like this is negative and this is negative, so we are adding them, isn't it? So this is uh, 3, okay? Okay, like that. Yeah. So 3 into 3, 1, plus, uh, multiply by that, that is 1, and plus 1. Okay, then, yeah. So this is going to be 2 over 3. Okay, 2 over 3. That makes sense now. I think I just uh, made a mistake on adding there. Okay, so we're saying that here since it's, uh, remember we're we factorizing uh, 1 over 6. So here it means that we're going to have 2 over 6 divided by 1 over 6. I mean 2 over 3 divided by 1 over 6 which is the same as 2 over 3 multiplied by 6 over 1. And 3 there, 1, 3 there, it's uh, uh, 2, which is going to be 4. So hence, we're going to have what? We're going to have uh, uh, 1 over 6 multiplied by b minus 4a. So it has given us the same answer. If we go in this direction and we go in that direction, we're getting uh, the same answer. So you can see, even from as we are working out, you can see that we made that mistake. Now, imagine it's in an exam, okay? You try to use that root, which is involving a lot of uh, uh, numbers, then you make a mistake. You, you start afresh and all that, and uh, it's time consuming, isn't it? So, always be, be sure to see. In this case, I was able to see which one is going to be easier, because number one, uh, this root, there's only one 
uh, value there, which is A, this other root is not involving me to introduce a negative. But in this case, uh, from A to C, there, was, there were a lot of numbers there. Again, from C to M, there was an aspect of me involving uh, a negative. Okay? So that would have made, or that has made my work a bit complicated. Okay? So in an exam, number one, your accuracy is compromised. Number two, your speed is also uh, compromised. So make sure that you choose, uh, in any case, it may not just be on vectors, may also be on any other topic. So you choose a method that is obviously acceptable by the examiner. Number two, it should be, be quick for you to finish. Number three, it should, be, it should give you maximum accuracy in terms of answering uh, the question. Okay? Is, is it okay? Is it everything okay? Yeah. Um, so we'll go through the other two, uh, possibly tomorrow, before we do uh, chemistry. I think tomorrow we need to do chemistry. Okay? So for now we can uh, end here. Sorry?